So my main question is this. So I will say when I like my booking process is more complicated, the client tend to tell me more about them personally first. Mm -hmm. So when they get in the room, like I used to suggest meeting for a drink a lot first because I felt like it made like a date, but like I would have some idea about what they were, what they're interested in. And I feel like what happens is like, I'm trying to think of an example. So like the other day, this guy comes in, right? Nice. He's just set up, gets in. Um, He's like, oh, you know, can I take a shower? I'm like, that's cool. Like, go ahead, take a shower. It's like a two hour or so booking. Takes a shower. And then he's just like sitting on the bed naked. And I'm like still kind of dressed in a dress. And I just feel like I don't know how to like, you know, like, 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 I'm, it just feels awkward to sit there while someone's naked and I'm not naked and be like, so tell me about yourself. <laughs> 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 and I, but I, if I feel like if I just try to kiss them or something, like they're so excited to be close to me. Um, but it's like, they just attack me and then, you know, we've had sex and then we have like two hours to go. I just don't know how to like start off the, like, like, I don't know how, like what I should be doing in that like period to really extend it. I was, I was watching all your videos, but I feel like I just need like some really specific examples. Okay. Is this something that's happening frequently? I'm, I'm going to answer the question or is this kind of a one-off? It's not like super freak. I mean, like I've never had an issue. Like they don't like like seem awkward or like whatever i'm doing is working but it's like more me personally trying to direct the booking because i think up until now i've really been treating it more like a hookup and i'm realizing i will do better if i direct it more and so i'm trying to kind of like create a script for myself where i'm like okay like when they get in, you know, they're going to spend this time taking a shower. And then, like, from this time to this time, I'll suggest these activities. And, like, it doesn't necessarily always go like that. Like, sometimes you just have great chemistry and you don't have to worry about that. But, like, when people are awkward and, you know, you can't really get them to, like, open up and talk about themselves. I'm just trying to figure out, like, activities I can suggest in, like, a little block to kind of, like, hold off the sex for a little bit. Okay. Great question. Do you happen to have seen my video of five steps for the perfect booking? Yeah, I did, but it's like, cause, okay, that's the thing, though. I feel like sometimes it's like it just, like, I try to do the outfit thing, where I was like, oh, like, and I feel like sometimes they look at you like they think you're stalling. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, I feel like, okay. So what I'd probably say, look, firstly, just be aware, like, you would have already had at times awkward dates with the previous setup, right? Like, where you met them, it's a bit awkward, the conversation. So you're still going to have scenarios, and I had that, like, it didn't matter how long I worked for or how confident I was. I still remember towards the end of my career, like after six years, seeing hundreds of clients. I had this booking once and I felt so uncomfortable. I was sweating through the whole booking. It was like, it, it was just, there's no explanation for it. We just didn't click and it didn't go smoothly. So firstly, just know that like that's going to happen. Okay. Secondly, what you want to do is I would try to take your like previous um process of meeting for a date etc a drink and just transfer it to the room so what you're talking about is exactly how i used to run my bookings so they'd walk in door they'd be like hello obviously i'd like try and get money pretty quickly in a in a polite way but i would sit them down like you talked about i'd have drinks ready i'd sit down next to them on the couch basically i have that same dynamic but just privately they'd walk in the room i'd make sure i get the money I'd sit them down and have a drink, et cetera, all set up. And I would start the interaction there to warm them up, get them comfortable. And yeah, also I'm extending the time, but for the benefit of both of us, because you're right, if we have sex in the first 20 minutes and we have an hour and a half left, it's actually really problematic because they feel like they've overpaid because they're like, well, fuck, I've come. Like what? And then you're under pressure to make them come again. And so think of that hotel bar experience and bring it to the room in the same way that you'd flirt, you'd warm them up. And look, everybody has a different level of comfortability when it comes to the health, like that that post that that girl did about the kissing and then another girl was like, well, I have to check their mouths before I kiss them. I was more relaxed about that. So I would be happy to make out with them and kiss them on the couch provided I had the money before I did a health check because I felt that that created a more natural dynamic. Um, so if you're more in that basket, you'll be able to do that and then push out the shower and then push out the sex, et cetera. That makes sense. So like, don't like directly send them there first. Like that actually makes a lot of sense. Cause I feel like they just have a tendency to do that because that's, if they've seen someone before, like that's usually what girls do. 
Yeah. Like they're like, don't talk to me first, go to the shower, come back. I'm good at like making conversation with strangers, you know, I'm like, mm. hey, fuck your day. like, you know, mm. like, you know, random, but it just feels awkward when they're naked and I'm not naked. So maybe the, the thing is to get them to just chill first before the shower, before they're getting naked and all that. Absolutely. So if they walk in the door, a typical greeting could be like, hi, John, like, so good to see you. Like, I'm always like flirty and friendly immediately. Before they sit down, I'll say, why don't we take care of business before we get to the fun business? They hand me the money. I put it away. I don't even count it straight away, right? Yeah. I just put it away. Yeah. Then I'll sit down and like get them a drink, whether that be alcohol or water, because I don't really drink. So usually it'll be a non alcoholic. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter, whatever they want. And then I will sit with them, like next to them on the couch, usually ensure my leg is pressing theirs and begin basically a flirtation, which can take, you know, how it, depending on how long the booking is. If it's an hour booking, I'll like make sure it's no longer than 10 minutes. If it's two hour booking, I might spend 15 or 20 minutes there. And get to the point where I'm like making out with them, straddling them. Mm. Then I'll say, "Why don't you go have a shower so we can like move on?" I'll so you don't worry. Like, you're like breaking the energy by sudden because, like, I think that's where my head was at. Is I was worried I was breaking the energy by like stopping them making out and asking them to go shower. No, I don't worry about that because the reality is you have to do that at some point. Is it better that you do it immediately? And then, of course, their natural reaction is that they're sitting on the bed naked or is it better that you've warmed up to it? They're excited. They go have a shower. You can then count the money. You can even shower with them if you really want to. Like sometimes I'll send them to the shower. Mm -hmm. I'll say I'll be with you in a minute. I'll count the money. Mm -hmm. And then I'll even go and do a bit of a shower with them, particularly if I have a client who I have a hygiene concern. I'll mm-hmm. like wash them myself, mouth wash them myself, but I'll make a part of the experience. Word. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I think that was my main concern was that like I was breaking it up, but you're right. Like that's a normal thing anyway. So that's yeah, good. You somewhere, right? Like <laughs> um, skip it entirely. So better that they're like, if you've got two hours and you spend half an hour with them, like, and, and again, to them, it feels real. It feels like, They've met this hot girl. They're talking normally. They're getting along. They're flirting. She's all all over them. She's making out with them. Imagine how that feels. They're all worked up and they're like, oh, yeah, I better quickly like go have a shower and then they're in the room. Like That is way more exciting for a client than, oh, you've walked in the door, get in the shower, and then, of course, they're like, well, I'm naked now, so I better go lay on the bed and wait for her to service me. Like It's actually more organic the other way. That's a good point. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure. Yeah. So, like, when they go to do that, just, like, redirect them, essentially. All right. If you want to learn more escorting tips, just click the link below this video.